Hi, I'm Madhvi Dinesh. So today I'm going to show how to use a 7 segment display in our wing board. Okay, so the components we need for this project are a wing board, a programming cable and some jumbo wires. Okay, first of all let's take our programming cable and we can connect this end of it to our laptop and the other end to our wing board. Like this. Okay, so now our programming cable is taking current from the laptop and it is giving it to our wind board. So now our wind board is turned off. So before we do anything else, first we should know what is a 7 segment display. Okay, so a 7 segment display has some groups of LEDs. Okay, so here as you can see there are a A group, a B group, a C group, a D1, E, F, G and a DP. Okay, so in the 7 segment display there are 10 pins. A, a pin, a B pin, a C pin till G pin. And there is a DP pin and two negative pins. So our negative pins are already connected to our wind board because our 7 segment display is inbuilt to our wind board. Okay, so now uh, because our uh, negative pins are connected, we should only connect our positive pins, which we will connect and I will show it practically. Okay, so as I said, our 7 segment displays two negative pins are already connected to our win board as it is inbuilt to it. So now let's take a jumper wire and uh, we can uh, connect this end of it to VCC slash positive slot here here and the other end to a in our seven segment display and this part of it will turn on if we put it in b then this part will turn on for c d e f G and DP. So using this technique we can make many alphabets and numbers. Okay so using that technique I have made some examples. So as you can see uh, I have made a 1, 2 and 3. Okay so as I said using this technique we can make many alphabets and numbers. So that's how we can use a 7 segment display. Thank you.